This is going to be the Lachmann test to test for anterior cruciate ligament rupture. The Lachmann test is also known under the name of Ritchie Trillet or Lachmann Trillet test, and it is described as the most valid test by a meta analysis of Benjamin et al. in the year 2006 with a sensitivity of 85% and a specificity of 94%. Experts recommend to first exclude a PCL injury before you conduct the test for an ACL tear. The reason for this is that the tibia sags posteriorly with a PCL injury which could give you the impression that there is a lot of movement of the TBR when you conduct an ACL test. So you could have a false positive in the end. If you want to figure out how you can test for PCL injury, make sure you watch our videos on the posterior draw test right here, or watch our video on the posterior sag sign right here. To perform this test, have your patient in supine line position and bring your patient's test leg into 30 degrees of flexion. Fixate the femur with your outer hand, bring the tibia into slight external rotation and then try to translate the tibia anteriorly. This test is positive if you experience a soft or mushy end feel or if the anterior translation of the tibia in the injured leg is at least 3 mm greater compared to the uninjured leg. Please keep in mind that your test results in a chronic situation will always be more valid than in an acute situation. The reason for this is that swelling and muscle spasm in an acute situation will have a negative influence on your test results. Okay guys, this was the Lachmann test. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out other videos on how to assess an ACL rupture, check out our video on the pivot shift and the anterior drawer test right here. I'll see you next time. Bye.